Hi, welcome to Hubrick Bull Sessions. I'm Ulf, and today I'm going to talk about why I decided to get myself a studio dog. A really important part of uh, working with audio, like mixing, recording, mastering and everything is to make sure to take breaks and uh, recommended is like taking five minute breaks every half hour, every hour, as often as you feel in need, but you cannot sit for several hours working with mixing and expect to know what you're doing. But for a lot of people like me, it's really hard to have that routine, um, so I need something uh, outside of myself that really that makes me obligated to take breaks so that's why I've been thinking uh, about this decision for a while uh, getting a studio dog it's really really cool to have this guy along who gives me a reason to that I have to go out take some air take a walk think about something else than the mix or the recording for a little while and then get back again with a fresh perspective I know some people might think uh, like a dog in a, in a recording situation when you have a band in the studio could be uh, distracting, but in my experience now, I've been having him for a little bit more than a month, so he has been with me with a few bands, like four or five bands already, and uh, everybody seems to love him, and uh, he's no distraction at all, it just uh, adds to the overall uh, experience of the recording. I think in a situation where you think you need to be so hardcore concentrated on what you're doing like that you cannot even be distracted by a, a dog in the studio that's not a healthy work situation and uh, i don't want to be a part of that project anyways i also think it's kind of an interesting phenomenon with uh, with pets and studios and especially studio dogs since i <laughs> decided to get one and there's a lot of famous producers that are also have famous studio dogs for example, Garth, uh, Garth Richardson, uh, Two Madsen, Sylvia Messe, Kurt Ballou, Ed Stasium, and uh, like lots more. I recently just noticed that a lot of my friends in the recording uh, business also have dogs, and I'm not sure that it's thought out in the way that they need it, like I did now, like they need to. Like they need a dog for a certain reason. It's just that that they are there and uh, it's kind of a phenomenon and I think it's pretty neat. So just because I'm a, a newly dog owner, uh, <laughs> I thought I'm gonna do like a, hopefully a weekly series uh, where I present a studio dog. So now I'm asking you who, who are watching this to Take a video or a photo of yourself. Uh, I'd rather you take a video, like with your phone or something, of you and your dog. Just make a presentation of the dog and send it to me at uh, info at hoborek.com and I will try to feature it in my future videos. Yeah, and that's pretty much it for this week. And don't forget to take breaks. It's really important. If you want to have some quality in your work and to know that your mixes are really worked out, take breaks. It's going to save you some time. Uh, if you don't take breaks, you're not saving time. Who is that? Is it a bad person? That's good. Yeah, be sure to take breaks. And uh, that way you're going to keep enjoying what you're doing for so much longer. So please subscribe to the channel, watch my other videos, leave comments and hit that like button. Um, see you again next week. Bye bye. Cheers.